Now this, voters in four states will be deciding on marijuana initiatives later on today, actually. Michigan, North Dakota, Missouri, and Utah. Our next guest says President Trump will eventually take this issue from the Democrats. Adrian Sedlin is with us. He's the CEO and founder of Candescent, the leading marijuana brand in California. All right, Adrian, you think President Trump wants to legalize recreational marijuana and he's going to move towards that in the next two years. What's your evidence for making that suggestion? Well, I would definitely say that heading into the 2020 election cycle that President Trump will look to make a push for medical marijuana as part of his platform. Simply the polling, if you look at the president, who is a shrewd politician, uh, irrespective of what you think of his personal politics, he is very shrewd. And if you look at the polling, 90% of Americans are in favor of medical use of ma marijuana. 60% are in favor of adult use. And you look at every major swing state, whether it's Michigan, Ohio, Florida, Pennsylvania, New Mexico, uh, the list goes on. They already all have some form of marijuana uh, policy. What you're talking about here is reclassifying marijuana from a class one drug along with heroin and cocaine and making it into a class two drug so that banks could finance the marijuana industry. If the president did that, it would be very good news for your business, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, some form of rescheduling, generally speaking, would be very positive for the industry, but we don't even have to have rescheduling because right now, for example, there's pending legislation, the, the uh, Safe Banking Act, the Small Business Tax Ex Equity Act, and the States Act are all somewhere in meandering through Congress. And with this election cycle, we may well see some of those come through and be voted on uh, prior to 2020, irrespective of whether the Democrats or the Republicans take this election. Now, you think that the president will move in this direction because the polls have moved in this direction. But, you know, there is significant opposition, and not just amongst Republicans, but uh, there is opposition to this. It's not a universally in favor of it. Well, you're absolutely right, Stuart. Uh, there isn't universal support. However, it's more of a generational issue uh, than it is a Republican-Democrat issue. And if you look at this election cycle, we have 57 retirements. So people like John Conyers are being replaced by Rashida uh, Talib. So we're replacing an 89-year-old man with a 42-year-old woman. And most people under the age of 50 understand the importance of both medical marijuana and adult use marijuana. And if you even look across Congress already, you have large bipartisan support for medical cannabis. Okay. Adrian, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Thank you very much, sir. Okay.